Hi, this is Amrita from Mommy Shots. We're going to be talking about how to help you market your photography business online. Now, there are several ways to promote your business both offline and online. But today, I'm going to share with you all the marketing strategies that helped me grow my business exponentially. Let's start with digital marketing. Digital marketing is nothing but marketing online on all the available platforms. Now we're in an age where we are spoiled with choice for marketing for free even. So let's look at what different platforms exist online that you can use to your full advantage. This is accessible to anyone. It's about how much time and effort you spend on each of these platforms to make them work for you. To begin with, you can use something as simple as the platform we're looking at this video on, which is YouTube. You can put content out here, you can talk about the business, talk about yourself and how best you do what you do. Apart from YouTube, you can look at very simple social media platforms, which are our everyday use, which is Instagram and Facebook. Now, each of these platforms have immense potential. And while there are so many options, it's important to pick one and then stick with it. Be consistent with your efforts on it and it will definitely pay off. Now, remember, it's very easy to get, get off track by thinking about your follower count, getting a blue tick and anything like that. But what's more important is how much engagement you get, what your actual returns are for the time you spend on that platform and how that converts to your business. Don't forget those metrics. Apart from social media and YouTube, there's also making sure your website is up to date. While our dependency on social media is pretty huge today, it's really important to have a backup, have a place where people can find you if social media does not exist tomorrow for any reason. Other options I would look at for digital marketing would be email listing, which is basically sending out emails to all the people who've inquired with you, who've been following you, or have worked with you in the past. And of course, there's the most convenient option, which is a paid option but it is marketing with money that is putting out ads on each of these platforms to get more people to see what you do okay so what if you're not tech savvy and you don't like to spend too much time on all of these online platforms to find your perfect clientele you can do so much offline i mean the potential to find your customers offline is immense but does require a large amount of effort so let's look at some of these options here Attending events is a great way of meeting people, be it workshops, be it networking events, or just be it you know, any photography seminars or, or even conferences that happen across the city or the country. Attending these workshops will not just allow you to meet other people in the industry, but also allow you to engage and learn from one another. If you're looking at just meeting clients, then there are definitely a lot of workshops for the audiences you're working with. In my instance, I work a lot with parents. I try to understand what kind of conferences or workshops or events that my, the parents would go to, and I try to be there. I try to talk to them about what I do. I introduce them to the concepts that we've introduced in our brand, and also, of course, upsell it. There's no shame in talking about what you do, and there's no shame in actually talking about how well you do it. The last marketing technique I wanna share with you is collaborations. A very simple, straightforward approach and can take you really far. Collaborations were quite the thing about two decades ago. It came to popularity when a lot of music artists started to involve brand names in the lyrics of their popular songs. And this sort of a collaboration grew quite immensely. And today when you look at it, it's about collaborations on online platforms between an influencer and a brand or two different brands coming together with common synergies. So if you were to do a collaboration online, try and see how you can maximize value for both the parties that are coming together and having immense value to each when you come together to do or create work. One perfect example I can share with you is um, a basic collaboration between someone like me, a photographer, and a clothing brand for children. Our audiences are very common and the content that is created is common and used across both platforms. But similarly, there are so many other ways to find synergies with brands. Just make sure to pick the right brand while you do it. Now, while this may seem like a lot of work to do on the marketing front, it becomes easier to focus your energies on the right things when you answer these three simple questions. What do you do? Who are you marketing to? And why are you marketing to them? It's important that you look at all the possible options you have and pick specific social platforms that you want to be present on. Ones that will make a difference to your business and focus your energies on being consistent on that one or two platforms you shortlist. Very important to get to know who your ideal client is. Is it a mother out there? Is it a, a model because you're a fashion photographer? Who is your ideal um, client? Once you understand that, it becomes easier to start des designing what your content's gonna look like. 
when you decide the kind of content you want to put up to appeal to your ideal client, the entire process and the workflow becomes a lot simpler. The most important takeaway from the entire video is really about measuring all your marketing efforts since you are investing a lot of time on each of these platforms. Now, what do I mean by measure marketing? When I talk about measuring your efforts, it's basically about understanding what is the end result of the efforts you're putting in here. So study the analytics on each of these platforms that give you a lot of data and data honestly does not lie. It tells you how many people visited your page, how many people are inquiring, what they're interested in, what they're looking at, what information they're saving for later use. And also you get a roundabout statistics of how many people are actually even noticing you online. Now, based on this, you can start to either double your efforts or stay at a plateau and even use this information to your advantage to make further marketing strategies. Now we know that marketing is crucial to any photographer's success, so don't hesitate to promote your work. I really hope these marketing ideas that I shared in this video would really help you grow your business, and I'll see you back with another useful one very soon. See ya!